We are Matt and Courtney Dippo. I have always had the desire to be a mom. Always mm -hmm. wanted to. Growing up, I actually wanted to be a stay-at-home mom and raise kids. When we got married, we tried initially, probably for six months. So there was about a five-year period from that point um, where we tried on and off. Matt had surgeries, um, so it did put things on hold for a little bit. But after that five-year point, we were like, okay, we need to go find out what's going on. I remember the, the conversations monthly, how she'd be disappointed. And I would reassure her in the faith that God has his time. Just that emotional toll of every single month seeing that negative, it just, it just dropped me lower and lower and lower in my faith. And then you have people saying, it's God's timing. And I'm like, but I want a baby now. I'm getting older. <laughs> like, you know, Once a month, getting the uh, negative tests. Yeah. And that was... That was hard. That was hard. And knowing that having to put blind faith into something. And I understood it from being in the military and knowing that he had my back, that he had fought the battles for me already. And I had to put faith in him as I put faith in my marriage. I, it's one of the worst things about marriage is it's watching somebody else suffer and you can't do anything to help other than be a shoulder to cry on and an ear to listen. Listening to her every month, it wasn't the words, it was the emotions that you could see in her eyes. Seeing the raw emotion from her made me press harder and pray harder. The five-year point, we started seeing a, a specialist and we had lab work done, everything was tested. They couldn't find any medical reason why we weren't getting pregnant. Undiagnosed infertility is what they told us. We prayed about it. They wanted to start medications, start some more in vitro things. And <laughs> in October of 2019, that's when we came to deliverance and we got delivered. <laughs> I got saved that night also, um, asked Jesus into my heart. I could feel a difference, there was a change. February of 2020, we got baptized. We got baptized together that day. Matt was re-baptized, I was baptized for the very first time. We had gotten delivered. We've been set free. We were coming to all the church things, really in it. And a month after we were baptized, we found out we were pregnant. The faith and knowing that we had so many wonderful people here praying over us. Mm. Yeah. It was probably the biggest shock and all moment in our lives. I took like Christian. four pregnancy tests after I found out I was pregnant because it was just so nice to see the positive sign. So March 6th is the day that I found out I was pregnant. Um, I told Matt later that day. We came to church that <laughs> Sunday, very excited to tell Pastor, uh, Betty, Pam, everybody, Lanny, everybody that had been really Wrong. pouring into us and praying over us. But they had a guest speaker that Sunday that was preaching and talking about Abraham and Sarah. And so the whole service, I'm just sitting there like, oh my gosh, this is surreal. This is, this is insane, like this is totally a God thing. Here I am finally pregnant after, after being baptized and delivered and all the great things with God and now we're hearing a service about Abraham and Sarah, literally sitting here very, very, very small pregnant. And so. It kind of goes back to all those people praying over you, I telling know. you that they've been having visions. Yes. So literally after the service, we were gonna wait to tell people actually, and after the service I went running up to the front and was just like, 